Hi everyone, in this video we will show you how to use the basic functionality of the Unity VFX Toolbox Image Sequencer that we're currently working on. This is a tool intended for processing image sequences. It relies upon template assets and is able to generate texture files such as flipbook texture sheets based on sequences of images you import from your favourite CG package. Let's start by creating a new image sequence asset. To do so, we use the Project Window Context menu to create an image sequence. This is located under the VFX Toolbox menu. Now I can open this asset by clicking the Edit Sequence button in the inspector or of course by double-clicking the asset itself. This opens the Image Sequencer Edit window. In this window we have a preview canvas on the right and an editing panel on the left. First we will import a sequence of images. To do so, we navigate to the project folder containing the sequence of images and simply drop it onto the Image Sequencer window. Note that we can multi-select frames or just drag the whole folder here. Now my frames are imported and I can either highlight assets from the list or play through the timeline. Let's begin by doing some processing. I'll click on the Processes tab in the left panel. In this area I can add sequence modifiers called Processors. Let's add a Retime Processor for starters. This processor outputs a sequence of a given length based on a time remapping curve. So the input sequence is time stretched to fit the output. Then, to prepare it for export, we will add an assemble flipbook processor. This processor packs the frames of a sequence into a flipbook texture sheet of given rows and columns. Finally, we go to the export tab to generate the output texture. In this mode, you can select various options and then finally save your file. Then the texture will be generated and written to disk and import it automatically so that you can access it in the project window and use it in your particle system of choice. Now our setup is complete for further iterations, I can go back to the Processes tab and make any changes I like. Then I can return to Export, and here I can click Update Exported Asset to automatically update the texture that we saved earlier. We'd love your feedback on this new feature, so go and download it and try it in the Unity 5.5 beta. See the link in the forum post thread with everything you need to know below. You can find the experimental forum at unity3d.com slash experimental.